Hi hey everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. A lot of you will remember the little folding bed uh, camp cot that I got from TomTop. This is a really cool thing I've been testing for a while now and it comes in a convenient little carrying bag with everything self-contained in one little unit with the uh, all the stakes here and um, it folds up into a tiny little, well the size of this container, a little bit smaller here and it only weighs 1.3 kilograms which is just about uh, two and a half pounds uh, one, yeah about two and a half pounds roughly and uh, it's not bad actually for for camping, backpacking, hiking or as an extra bed for your guests which is what I think is pretty cool um, car camping whatever it's uh, really convenient because of the size when it's stowed away. So, um, I've been reviewing this for quite a while and I want to show you uh, everything that I think about it during this, uh, this period. Now, setting up the convenient little camping cot it comes in this uh, little bag as you have seen previously um, I when I did when I opened the package you may remember I did a intro video on this showing my first impressions and it comes in this convenient little carry bag which is very rugged by the way one of the uh, cool things about it of course I ripped it out quickly is it all the pieces all snap together all the rings snap together for uh, packing it back together so it's it, it all holds itself so you have this complete little kit that slips into the bag so let me just show you how to uh, how, it, how it packs together and comes apart you've got the cot itself the actual um, upper part of the cot you got your carrying bag which I'll set aside and then you've got all of your pulls and supports right here and then you've got all the rings, the feet, and they clip together, they sort of snap together, and it's convenient. It's not really strong, strongly held together, but it does help you to um, put it back into your bag nice and neatly. So I think that was a cool little feature they added. They really thought about a lot when putting this together. So the first thing you want to do is take your main poles and set your supporting cross members aside. Take the two main poles, put them together. Really light, uh, rigid aluminum poles. Now, I have to be honest, the only problem I've experienced with this was one of the end caps, if I find it here, uh, keeps coming out on me so it should have been glued and I think let me see if I can see what I'm doing here I want to make sure you can see what I'm doing the end cap here keeps coming out so it should have been glued I think it's just a quick little insert so a little bit of uh, super glue would help a lot with that and uh, I, I think if the manufacturer added that little feature it would be very helpful although it's not a uh, it's not a complete loss if that's not in there. I do think the only purpose though is to help you because there's only two of them on here total anyway. I think its main purpose is to help you slide it through the cot easier without snagging. Oops, I got the wrong end. There's a stitched close end and there's an open end on the, the top part of the cot. So you just slide these poles through all the way through the the end, making sure not to come out one of the support holes. Of course, outdoors in the open space or in a large room or a full-sized house, this would go to better eat. They're together quicker and smoother. But this is my tiny house on wheels, so we'll demonstrate putting together a small cot in a small space. There it goes. Baby, don't. It is somewhat cat uh, tested and cat proof because it has survived my two cats without any 
problems, so that's also a, a good thing about this, a good selling point, is that it has survived a house with two cats in all this period. And there's my end cap loosening up, so there's uh, definitely a weak point in this. Uh, the end caps, I see what their purpose is. They um, stop the thing from, from uh, damaging your, your cot here in the ends. They stop it from cutting through, so they are de definitely necessary. So those green pieces should be super glued in so you don't lose them. That's an important thing. So now if I can get the cat from bothering me here with this. You take two rings, you take two different colored spring pieces, and put them through with the little curved part now is going to insert on your main supporting pole. So you put this through here all the way. and snap it in place on one side and then using your knee you can put strength on it pull up on here while bending it and pushing it down to snap in place and there you have it it's less awkward than it looks because I'm trying to keep myself in the camera view so I'm probably making it look more awkward than it has to be And same with this one. Oops, sorry, skip a line. I don't know why, maybe, I don't know why they have doubled up the holes. Maybe they have an option for a, a bigger person in the future, but skip one hole and go to the next. And again, it's better to put your knees on there and work between your knees to give you the strength to do this. Now the next one is a bit tougher because you want to use two poles. So put one in the bottom and also another one in the top. I don't know if it matters, but you should alternate the color because that's what it showed in the uh, manual. So I should have done it like this at the same time. All right, and then you have the rigidity in the middle where you need it, where you, all your body weight is going to be. Again, it helps to put your knees on there, pull up and push on that. And this one's really strong. Yeah. Although if you've ever worked with the uh, the old army cots, oh boy, that is not a one 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 man operation putting together that army cot. That was a job. I think I remember most of the time I never did fully assemble my army cot. Those things were so tough to work with. You do have to have a little bit of strength to put these middle ones on. Then again, if you're if you're a lighter person, you could probably get by without them in the, anyway. Because these are just to give you the extra strength where your body weight is. And if you're lighter and not that strong, then you can probably just not even need it. That's my guess. So, those middle ones are tough. Really tough. Makes the others go really easy to be in comparison. But again, as a guest bed, this is this can't be beat. It's really cool. Makes a great little guest bed. Or a survival bag or bed if you want comfort. Like I love my comforts in survival. And I learned actually in the military after suffering a lot, if you carry the bare requirements that they give you on your list, you will be uncomfortable. And I learned to carry a lot of extra gear for comfort. So there it is. There's your completely assembled uh, ultralight camping cot. Very easy, very quick, and very comfortable. Comfortable. So uh, again, go check out TomTop. They're, uh, they're a good company with a lot of fine products. Not just camping on outdoor, but they also have a lot of household and uh, automotive, I think. They have a whole lot of stuff. Clothing and outdoor and household and all kinds of stuff. So there's how you put it together. And I'll show you in another time how to take it apart. 
and uh, I'll do a thorough review and testing on this product. Now to take this apart is just the opposite of putting it together. You have to apply some weight to one end while you pull the spring out and it actually pops apart relatively easily. You hold down one frame here and it pops apart very easily. It's awkward in the tiny house. Outdoors in the field would be so much more convenient to be honest. The metal ones are very stiff and very rigid but it comes apart well enough. I find it's easier to go from here between my legs to be honest. So those are very very rigid right there. So it is easier to go and put your knee down and pull it from between your legs to remove these. Of course it's awkward on the very last piece but there it goes. There is a lot of uh, rigidity to it. So it breaks down pretty quickly. Slide that back out the same way you slid it in. I'm so happy that I discovered this for its convenience. It's so quick and easy to put together, to take down. It is so compact and lightweight. I am extremely happy with this thing. There's actually nothing I can say negative about it at this time. I'm just going to show you how quick it breaks down. stuff it in your bag and go. That's it. That's all there is to it. So very convenient, lightweight camping cot from TomTop. I, uh, I really love the TomTop line of products to be honest and this is not a paid commercial. This is just me using a product that I love. So I really do love their products and uh, it's very convenient. So. Uh, good morning everybody, uh, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. I am trying out the uh, folding portable cot that I got from TomTop not long ago and I have to say this is very comfortable. I will, as soon as I get up here and shed some more light on the situation, I'll share my experiences with you and my uh, my thoughts on this cot but I have to say this is really really comfortable and ultra light by the way as far as a, a, a cot goes uh, I've been using this extensively and putting it through some rigid uh, rugged testing and I uh, just want to make sure it's going to be a good cot before I shared anything with you so let me get some lights going on here and let me uh, tell you a bit about this thing and the cot is baby cat approved. <laughs> it has passed the baby cat approval test. She says it is good to go. So I'm going to give you an update on this this cot now that I've been using it for a while. One of the things I've done is I was very concerned about the stitching because you just never know about such products and um, I, I was afraid this would be a weak point right here. So I left the cot assembled for quite a long time and uh, did not break it down at all so that I could really stress test the stitching. Now if the cats would allow me, I want to show you how it's held up in this time. And I think I'm going to turn on another light just to make sure you can see well. I don't know how bright it is in here right now. 
so uh, I can't really tell until the computer or the camera is uh, I get that online so also this thing is has withheld uh, withstood cats which is important I mean when you have a cot I think this is going to be great for for camping for hiking for having guests over and uh, it's got to be durable it's got to withstand normal use and wear and tear and so far I'm, I'm very impressed that the stitching has not come loose or worn out at all and that was something I was really concerned with because that that would be a weak point in such a thing but it held up quite nicely and uh, there's there's no problems no wear no stress doesn't look like it's even trying to strain there's no tears around the individual um, uh, threads where each individual hole went through which was also a, a, a high stress point on many products I've experienced in the past the cot is extremely light when assembled and that makes it nice for portability it's, uh, it's very very convenient to move around so, so as you can see I bump it and it easily moves around by the uh, from my foot so I do hope you can see well I'm trying to keep the shadows off here but anyway So I'm going to show you some of my favorite points about this. One being the, the lightweight. It nearly floats on air when you pick it up. Another is it's got like independent suspension. And I've slept on a lot of camping cots in the past. And I've used so many different types of beds and mattresses and uh, cots. I've used the military cots and uh, folding away beds and all kinds of stuff and this is absolutely the most comfortable that I've ever used and I'm not just saying this this is not a paid commercial this is me just telling you really that this is the most comfortable that I've ever used now I was really concerned about the, the springiness the, the plastic bases being just just plastic round rings and I wasn't sure about the durability, but it ends up that that adds independent suspension onto this cot. Each and every piece, each and every ring compresses under your weight independently, which makes it a really awesome cot. So it gives you a totally comfortable experience. And it bounces and, and, and adjusts to your weight as you, as you move around which makes it a really really comfortable experience to lay on and you can actually see the rings compress under your weight as you go and also you can feel the metal springs bending under your weight they're very stiff to push by hand but the you can feel them compressing under your weight to make it comfortable for you now you'll notice there's double they're doubled up in the middle and you see that on the package and on their website better than in my uh, tiny house right now. So I know it's hard for me to get good lighting on my, my videos in my tiny home. I'm try to move this over here. Trying to get good lighting on the subject from all angles is awkward. So there's the single springs on the first two, doubles on the uh, middle, and then singles on the uh, other two. Because, of course, here's where the most of your weight's going to be. So they put more support there. So overall, I am extremely pleased with this. And it's definitely going to be a permanent part of my bug out and survival Jeep gear for if you ever have a, a guest or you just want to go camping somewhere and toss out a, a bed uh, in a hurry. It's really comfortable. Keeps you off the ground, so it keeps the moisture off your gear and uh, which is great for summer for winter you would definitely want to put uh, an insulating layer under your your body if you were using anything that's raised off the ground just for information for winter camping you would definitely want to insulate yourself from the wind blowing underneath but for three season use um, this would be awesome as is and again for winter just insulating yourself from the ground is all you need so I really love it
I, I can't say anything negative about it, to be honest. So, um, Tom Top is the website. I'll put the link down below, and you can go check it out. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. And I put this on my main channel because I think it is a very good uh, product that I really want people to know about. For a guest bed, for camping, for hiking, um, I, I am definitely going to have it on hand as a guest bed. I think it is the perfect because it folds up in a tiny little pouch when you're not using it. It takes hardly any space at all. It's ultra light and um, it's it's perfect for for just a stowaway bed, an extra to keep on hand. And again, for my bug out vehicle, it's going to be great to keep in the back because it doesn't take up any space when it's packed together. So, well, thanks for watching, everybody, and go check out the lightweight cot on Tom Top. And I'll put the links down below, and I'll talk to you all later.